Hi, and welcome to the Sask Music Indigenous History Month interview series. My name is LJ Tyson, and I'm so pleased to be joined today by Samantha Burnoff. Sam, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very good. We should actually tell the listeners you recently uh, adopted and started using a stage name, which yes, I love yes. so much. Do you yeah. want to tell them what it is? Yeah, so my stage name is Sammy. I actually have a really good like relationship with the name because my best friend has always called me Sammy and it just kind of fit really nicely. So that's my new name. I love that. It's such <laughs> a good way to start um, branching out and branding yourself more. Yeah. Because you are a name in the Northern Saskatchewan music scene. I mean, you've been working, um, performing and doing live gigs and you've been in multiple cover bands mm -hmm. since you were like 11. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I think I was eight years old when I first got the chance to perform on stage with the band. And it just like, I got addicted to it. It's like something that you do it once. And if it's like, I think if it's like meant for you, it's gonna be something you can't leave again. Right. And that's the kind of energy that I have with it. So where would you say you got your start? Like performing professionally on stage in front of people? So I grew up around music. I have a very musical family and I had a lot of influences growing up. One of them was my uncle Jason, who was in Just the Boys. And then the other main influence was Lauren Wetney, who was very, very like good friends with my parents. And she would come to my parents' karaoke bar all the time. They'd book her in for gigs. And it was something about seeing a female indigenous artist like performing. And she was a star. Like she was a star to me. I, I seen her as like someone as high as like, you know, like at the time Britney Spears was my everything. And that was like where I held her at. It was just like, if she can do this, then I can do this. And it was something that I needed to see that representation of someone else that looked like me doing it and like having some level of success. And now you get to be that yeah, for yeah. the next generation of singers, especially in Northern Saskatchewan. I mean, um, there's such, there seems to be such a divide between the Southern music scene and the Northern music scene. Yeah. Like the names you just mentioned, Just the Boys, Lori Whitney, these are legendary, famous people up north to us, mm -hmm. but um, unfortunately it hasn't crossed over to the south as much as yeah. we would like. What do you want to see change with that in the future? Well, I would, I was just talking about this with my fiance is that like, I want to see more indigenous artists crack into the country music scene. You know, like there's a lot of known people coming out of Saskatoon and like Calgary and Edmonton and all these like Tindale Arts, you know, Jess Moskaluk, like all these people I look up to, but there's not that many like indigenous people cracking into that. And I want to see that change. And hopefully the more people do like, you know, you and me and like um, Alison Ray Strong, all of these people, the more people do it, the more there's going to be doors open for other people like us, other indigenous artists. That's just the thing. I mean, we can sit here and talk all day and you know, talk about what's gone wrong and why these artists haven't been um, crossing through into more mainstream type situations. Or we can look to the future mm -hmm. and keep working and keeping ourselves. And I yeah. think you're such a great example of that because like I said, um, you could have been good and fine just being happy, being like a name up north yeah. and, and gig, but you realize there's such potential for more. Yeah. And you realize that you can be you can be the Lori Whitney for someone else. And I think that's so fantastic, Sam. Do you have any upcoming shows you would like to talk about? Um, so I am currently booking gigs for um, this next upcoming year because I want to release my album by the end of this year. Hopefully it gets out. We're hoping like maybe October-ish. But I do have a gig coming up um, on the 18th. Well, actually this week on the 18th for the street fair. Um, as far as that goes, we're not really booking too much for the next couple months because I am getting married. So that's kind of like my the album and my wedding are like the center of my attention right now. But after that, we're going like full force. I'm going to be booking so many gigs as much as I can. So Awesome. Well, I hope everything, I know everything is going to go so good. And thank you so much for taking the time to do this for Indigenous History Month. It's so important that our voices are heard. and. Mm -hmm. um, such a strong voice as yourself deserves to be heard as much as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alton.